Nolagen here at the Higgins Hotel. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for where to stay in New Orleans, Louisiana, travel with me in our New Orleans Hotel Review videos to help you decide. In this episode, we're taking a special Yelp Elite tour of the Higgins Hotel and Conference Center, which is the official hotel of the National World War II Museum that is in the Warehouse District area of New Orleans. The Higgins Hotel is located at 1000 Magazine Street, directly across from the National World War II Museum, which is about five minutes and one mile away from the New Orleans French Quarter. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. This is a very convenient location for many other attractions in New Orleans, and the Higgins Hotel is named in honor of Andrew Higgins, who designed and manufactured over 20,000 boats in New Orleans that were used during all the major amphibious assaults during World War II. So they have a brand new chef here, and as part of the Yelp Elite event, we're going to get to sample nearly their entire menu, both for their downstairs restaurants and up on Rosie's on the rooftop, their rooftop bar and restaurant that's also fantastic. So just look at all of these amazing things we got to sample. This by far is the most fantastic Yelp Elite event I have ever attended. There was more food than I possibly could even taste. It was an amazing experience and I got so full just with the downstairs restaurant sampling, I had very little room left for the upstairs sampling and Rosie's later. Look at all these fantastic dishes and they really went all out to provide for a very amazing experience. So thanks so much to everybody at the Higgins Hotel and to Yelp for putting on this amazing event for us to enjoy all of these amazing dishes. So I was able to make a substantial dent in the food, but I didn't sample everything. As you can see here, this is what remained. Now we'll go take a quick tour of Cafe Normandy here, which is a beautiful restaurant space, and you certainly can get some fantastic food here now. So make sure to check out the menus they have here, see which space is going to fit your taste buds better. The upstairs Rosie's on the rooftop is always popular and a little bit more affordable than some of the food here. It just depends what kind of environment you want. This is more of a fine dining space where Rosie's on the rooftop is much more casual. Now I do have another video on Rosie's on the rooftop back when they had first opened. Things have changed substantially for the better in the food department since this new chef came on board. So as you can see though, this is a very beautiful space and it's definitely a worthwhile place to check out. Now we've got another place right next door called Provisions, which is like a little convenience store, which is a very convenient thing if you happen to need some snacks or knickknacks or any other various number of things they have on offer here. So this is a great spot to grab some coffee or other beverages and some other snack type foods. So they certainly can take care of many of those late night needs with some other of the restaurant options in this hotel and the general area might be closed. So certainly a great spot to check out as you can see just from the video and photographs here. I think this spot's just a great addition to the warehouse district neighborhood area in general. Okay, we're gonna jump on the elevator and head all the way to the top as it's time to go to Rosie's on the Rooftop. Now, as I mentioned before, I do have another video of Rosie's on the Rooftop back when they first opened. The food then was uh, kind of mediocre. It's much better now, as you will soon see as we get to sample some of it. You also get some amazing, fantastic views up here. So this is certainly worth a visit just for the views alone. And it is a pretty cool bar as well. Now, unfortunately, Rosie's on the Roof has gotten pretty popular and it can sometimes be a lot harder to find a place to sit than it used to be. 
So you might need to get here a little bit earlier if you want to make sure you've got a place to sit inside or outside. As most of my visits of late, it's been pretty packed in here. Of course, this view alone is certainly worth your effort, I would say. Now it's time for our Yelp Elite food sampling at Rosie's on the Roof, and I'm so full for the downstairs food, I could barely sample much of what was up here. I did force a few things down, but for most of the items, I just didn't have enough room to get anything else down. Now the few things I was able to sample were all fantastic, and I have to say the menu now is far, far superior to what they were serving with the previous people that were operating the food up here. So this is definitely much more worthwhile, your time and effort to get up here to eat. As, as you can see here, these are some pretty tempting dishes all the way around. If you're curious what the previous food here at Rosie's on the Roof was like, I'll put a link to my older video about Rosie's on the Roof at the end of this video. So now we're going to go tour a hotel room, which of course, if you were wanting to know more about how this hotel is, it is nice to check out the hotel room. So this is certainly a very beautiful space and this uh, hotel in general is definitely one of the nicer ones in the New Orleans area these days as it's also around one of the newest. So that makes it a lot more shiny and bright. So right here we do have some caffeinated beverages right when we walk in. Next we'll check out the bathroom here. Ooh, everything is also very nice in here as well. Some soaps and hair shampoo. Nice sink. Got our towels down there. Good stuff. Got our ironing board, luggage rack, some closet space, iron over there. And nice bed. Got a nice view of here. Oh, there we go. So overall a nice space over here. And then uh, let's see what's in here, a refrigerator. Nothing in there. So, very nice room for the king size bed. Next, we're going to take a quick tour of the conference center. Uh, we're going to investigate a few of the conference rooms and meeting rooms. Not every room was open, so I couldn't get footage of everything. Now here, of course, we've got a marvelous view of this downstairs lobby here. So you can get a much more impressive view of it on the second floor than you can really on the first floor. So certainly make sure to check that out while you're here. And uh, this is definitely one of the best and newest conference room spaces in the New Orleans area now. So if you're planning any kind of event, you should certainly check this space out as it definitely is still nice, new, clean, and very, very nicely appointed in so many ways. So, very, very excellent space to carry on. Now, even though I couldn't get everything filmed because so much of it was locked up, I think you still will get a pretty good impression of how the rooms look and feel and what they can be good for, for your specific application.
So thanks so much to everybody at the Higgins Hotel and Conference Center for the beautiful, wonderful experience they provided to us. And thanks so much to Yelp for putting on this great Yelp Elite event that we were able to enjoy so much of that fantastic food at. Then thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then, Tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.